set a purpose for reading and ask and answer questions. Practice. Ask and answer questions after reading. Review what the men are arguing about. After you read, you can ask questions to make connections to your own experiences and draw inferences from the text. Let's read the rest of the story. The Blind Men and the Elephant Their argument continued with their shouts growing louder and louder. Tree! Marble! Wall! Snake! Fan! Rope! Stop arguing, shouted the boy. Let me explain. You are all both right and wrong. The six men were confused. So the boy continued. An elephant is a very large animal, and you each touched only one part of him. Maybe if you put the parts together, you will discover the truth. The boy is right, said the first blind man. Each, in our own opinion, was strong. Although each of us were partly in the right, we were all in the wrong. To learn the truth, we must put all the parts together. As the boy and his elephant prepared to leave the garden, the six blind men thanked the boy for his wisdom. What happened in the story? How was the argument resolved? Why did the boy tell the men they were all right and wrong? Why was the boy wise? What did the characters learn? What if the men in the story were not blind? How would their perceptions about the elephant have changed? Have you ever been in a similar situation? How do you handle a situation when another person doesn't see something the same way you do? A lesson that can be learned from this text is that to understand something fully, it's important to understand other people's perspective. <music>